day 422. Oh my gosh, where to start off with the day? Day rating's a 7. Maybe an 8. We'll go 8. Feels more like an 8 today, so we'll stick with 8. And we walked the pup. Almost woke up late. I had this weird scenario where the phone needed to update. So I updated it. It turned off. I turned it back on. But it didn't complete the update till I logged in. And so I naturally think probably because of routine woke up around 6.30 and I looked at the alarm. I looked at my watch and I was like, huh, that's strange. It was like 6.35, 6.33, something like that. So I grabbed my phone and was like, why didn't the alarm go off? And I thought maybe because the update, the battery died. I'm just trying to play it back early in the morning so I wasn't aware that I, I turned it back on. And then I look at the phone and the power turns on and it's still got, the thing 78% battery life. So I thought that was weird. And I had to log in using my pin code instead of the fingerprint. I was like, oh, that's why. And then as soon as I logged in, it finished updating. Go, like, Momo, are you okay? <whistles> I'm watching you. You okay? Anyways. Um, so, I think I set another alarm for 15 minutes. I didn't end up falling asleep. Weird, weird way to wake up. I'm glad it wasn't late. I'm glad the, the battery didn't die and I, you know, could have been easily late to work because I could have kept sleeping. But then work was fairly smooth, finished the pasta for lunch, had a, an email with a credit card issue saying that I had this grace period since like October for six months and now they're going to charge me for my savings and banking and checking account. And I'm like, why are you charging me for an account? And I, the company I had before, it was free. Hey, no, 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 come over here. Don't sleep on the pillows. Come over here. Come here. Come here. Thank you. And then they just got bought out recently, so they had to switch over. But I still... It was a little upsetting. I tried to talk to someone. And then they kind of explained you need to have so much money in your account or you need to continue to make make direct deposits into the account in order or else you'll get charged $7 or something like that per, per month. And so that was just a little silly to me. So I don't know. And then I had this other credit card issue where I sign up for the credit card and after you spend so much money, you're supposed to get 200 back, assuming you've paid everything, yada yada. And so I asked them, do I fall within these terms? They said, yes, you're good. And as of right now, you're only like $78 away. So I said, great, I've got a balance right now, I'll pay that. And then, you know, in the grace period, the 45, 60 days, whatever it is, I'll get that extra check or whatever. I said, yeah, you should be good. Said, All right, that's it. Thanks for the questions. But that was just a little bit worrisome at work, just trying to take care of it before I got away from the phone. And the phone calls were a little bit slow today, so I was able to take take the phone call, take a few minutes to take a phone call. And then in the middle of the day, I get a text from my buddy, my old roommate, my own running buddy as well, Ab. And he says, hey, you got any raises coming up? And then before I could respond, about 10 or 15 minutes later, the other race director from the, that, what was it, the Sprint Decathlon, Sprint Heptathlon, Decathlon? Uh, one of the two, the one I did a few weeks ago, he had texted me and said, hey, how's it going? Are you just gonna race this Saturday? And so it was funny, it was like a two for one text they both had texted about the same time, inquiring about a race. So I only thought about it for a minute, and I was like, yeah, you know what, I'm, I'm feeling good. I think I can do a little bit better than last time. Let's do it. 
So I text my buddy Ambex and said, hey, funny story, I just signed up for another 1500 race this Saturday morning. So it's at seven o'clock at this local high school, it's only a few miles away, so that's good. And yeah, then we talked a little bit more and then I got more information from that other race director Looks like I'll be gearing up for another race this Saturday, so I was excited about that. But immediately I'm thinking I need to hydrate and I need to eat well this week because I feel like I knew what happened last time. I I didn't rest, I didn't warm up, and I didn't carve up that 24 hours before. So I think with, between those three things, I can knock off a few seconds and then is getting the rust buster off out of the way I can maybe knock off a couple more so I think last time I ran a 441 and this time I'll be looking to run I think 430 yeah, 441 was last time so I think I can do 435 this time I mean assuming things go well that's the goal that's what I'm aiming for we'll see what happens so that was a, a good highlight for the day. And the other highlight was came back, had to go to walk by the pup, of course. Got ready for the Suns game and went for my little run. Tried to do an easy three miles. First mile was 8.07 and I got a little bit worried. I was like, what's going on? I should be feeling good right now. Even mentally, I'm just feeling good and jazzed to be here and jazzed that I've got a couple race, races coming up in the same month. So that was exciting, and it was 8.07, and then I got to 7.35, so I was like, okay, that's about normal. And then I don't know what the last one was, it was, it was maybe 7.30, 7.25, not, not, not a big deal. But then I came back, turned on the Suns game, and they were tied 2-2, so against a team that was an 8 seed. They were number one, and they were playing an 8 seed, so everyone's just shocked that the series is tied 2-2, best of seven. We're a little bit nervous just because the other team is just playing so well and they have nothing to lose. And our team is, you know, we should be winning. We should be doing a little better. But you can't see. I mean, there you, you can see better now. I got my son's number nine shooting from the free throw line. I have a three point line actually. One of my favorite players, Dan Marley, had his shirt for the dog walk and hanging out this morning or this morning that then this afternoon. But. Man, it was an exciting game, and it was one of those, I mean, it was just me and the pup there watching. <laughs> and so, I'm getting excited, and I'm eating some food, and I'm doing, like, these silent cheers, just like, yeah, yeah, like, little fist pumps, and, like, little feet stomps, and, I don't know, it was just, it was good to see him playing well, and they had Guy Bridges playing exceptionally well, and Paul was playing well, and Nathan was playing well. And a couple other guys were playing well. I mean, Biombo was helping out, and then Crowder was helping out. I mean, the whole team was just contributing, and that's the that kind of the Suns game that we know and love. And so it was good to see him in that zone. I was just silently cheering in the kitchen while I was eating my dinner, and then I came back to the couch around the mid third quarter, all the fourth quarter, and I was silently cheering on the couch, trying to play catch with the pup while. <laughs> I'd throw the, the little ball or whatever it was, your toy behind me. I, and then when she was chasing it and bringing it back, I watched the game, so great game. Well done, Suns. I think they won by like 12 or 15. I mean, they really played a great, fantastic game. And afterwards I text my, my manager said, I'm not come, I'm not going into work tomorrow morning. All the Suns fans are in downtown painting the town orange. Go Suns! <laughs> so she's like, I'll be right there. Go Suns! I'm not coming in tomorrow either. <laughs> so it's nice to have that extra, you know, other fans to cheer with. And I called my dad before, or no, it was maybe like the second quarter in the game. We were talking about it. A good start where they need to keep an eye on, you know, just little things like that. And they were enjoying the game. We both kind of said, we need to eat. And he said, yeah, go enjoy your meal. I'm like, yeah, you go enjoy your meal too. He was doing a salad. 
I felt like fajitas, well, I originally felt like carne asada fries, but the race, I was like, okay, let's, let's cut back on the starchy foods right now. And so I said, let's just have the kind of the steak and, and some veggies. So I did five or six little fajitas. I tried to get some rice, some quinoa, but they didn't have it, or so maybe I wasn't looking in the right aisle. And I found this other rice. It was plant-based. I think I said, I've never seen this brand before. But it said all vegetables, or all rice-like substance made from vegetables. And it's supposed to have like 15 grams of protein in there, as opposed to rice, which only had like six to eight, or it was just significantly more. So I said, you know what, let's try it. And it was even seasoned, so I got it was two for six, so I bought one Spanish rice and one cilantro lime rice, which I like both of those normally, but ugh, the rice just didn't turn out well, but I'm glad I tried it and I ate it. It still feel healthy. I just don't know if I'll be able to finish it, but definitely going to finish the pitas tomorrow at some point, either for lunch or for dinner. And that was nice to have that good pitas. felt good to make them proud of what I did. I mean, I was worried I was going to screw it up a little bit, but no, it turned out fine. Haven't made them in about a year, but they turned out fine. And then, what else happened? My dad was going to have a salad, so he's like, I'm just going to eat light tonight. Get a little salad, maybe some soup or something. Like, Alright, well, go enjoy a meal. Don't forget to eat. Keep your energy up. And yeah, so it was a nice little talk game was over, walked the pup real quick. We actually walked maybe with three minutes left in the game. There was a little timeout, like, alright, let's go, let's go outside. And she was giving me that look, so it was great timing. Then came back, tried to clean up some dishes, took a little shower, and now I'm here doing the video. Calling it a day, wrapping it up. Those are the highlights of the day. See where we're going from here. I feel like I was texting my buddy about the races, and I just said, you know, things have been going really well, so I'm gonna keep riding this wave as long as I can. So I, I think I'm going from a broken runner or injured endurance runner, or whatever you want to say, to like recovering. I don't know how I want to do that, but I might try to keep that recovery runner or broken runner on recovery, something like that going. And I might try to find other runners, other endurance athletes that have had issues with like broken feet or stress fractures or severe accidents that are trying to get back into their sport and maybe even just talk to them and see where they're at, see where they're at before, like see where they're at before, see where they are now and see if we can get a goal set up. It'd just be like a social thing. Even if it's like a, so a mental break, right? Like Maybe they were a, a standout high school athlete and then something happened and so they turned away from it. I don't know. And there's all kinds of scenarios. There's not one set rule that could define as like a broken or recovering runner. This thought in my head for about a week now. Like, what if I find these other athletes that felt like they they still had more to give to the sport, and maybe we just talk and maybe help them get into one race. Even if it's just, to not saying they have to be as fast as competitive as they were before, but just to get back to that love of the sport kind of a thing and remember why they they did it in the first place. I don't know, I'm still, I'm still building on the idea, but I think that's where I'm kind of going. Maybe I'll even just do a Facebook social group kind of a thing, just reaching out to people, have conversations and FaceTime people, see where they're at, see where they want to go, see if we can go there as a group, right? Cause what do they say? If you want to go far, go together. If you want to go fast, go alone. Well, maybe it's time to get together and see who else wants to go far. We'll see what happens.
to run your life with health and happiness. Have a good night.